Today, Mikey and I decided to have a little walking marathon today. Walking along the coolest boardwalk ever. And you decided to go slow. I'm just in no hurry to get anywhere. The weather is nice. The views are beautiful. What else do you need to be happy? Honestly? I wish we had a couple more pretty girls walking with us. Yeah, well, where are you and me gonna get them? I'm gonna flip a coin and make a wish for a beautiful girl. Come on, let's go. No more fairy tales. Great, I think I found what we need. All that's left is to watch them for a while. Oh yes, they would be perfect for my plan. So naive and helpless, they can't resist my beauty. They'll be mine. All I have to do is get them to my island. Bull, 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 bull. I promise you, my wish will come true. I've never had a ritual like this fail me before. You know I don't believe in all those fairy tales. They're just nonsense. When I have a beautiful, beautiful girl, I'll watch you bite your elbows. Haha, -ha, Mikey, you know painted girls don't count. Laugh it up, JJ, but you know you're gonna be so jealous later. Hey, boys! Mikey, stop kidding around. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm here, wait a bit. Mikey, do you have another dime? Listen, would you like to spend some time with a lovely lady? Wow, this is kind of unexpected. You are so beautiful. Ah, and I told you the dime worked. So what do you say? You're so beautiful I couldn't pass you by. Oh, I think I'm in love. I understand you perfectly. I think there's no way we can afford to turn down such an offer. That's great. Then let's go for a walk and eat with you at the restaurant. Mikey, what do you think about this? What's to think? You get asked out every day by a pretty girl like that. That's the thing. It's kind of suspicious. I just got my wish. That's all. I've had enough of you making me talk you into it. Let's go out to dinner. I can't believe my luck's such a hottie and interested in us. I'm not even surprised they looked at us. We're not bad either, JJ. And Mikey is right. That's why I liked you guys. But we didn't give our names. JJ, you and I shout them out to practically the whole street. It's hard not to recognize our names. Exactly. Let's go quickly. I really want to listen to you and eat. That's lucky. I can't believe my luck. Let's hurry up. We have now arrived and are sitting down to eat the wonderful and delicious food of this restaurant. It's good for everyone here, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it, especially since I'm really hungry. And I agree with you. Then let's eat and enjoy this beautiful evening. We should get together and sit like this more often in the future. I'm all for it, as long as I have some free time. But you need money for all that. Yes, it's true. It's quite expensive to sit down and have a good meal like that. But this place has such an atmosphere and such delicious food that it's worth the money. We can never cook like this at home. You're right. But to sit like that, you have to find a hidden treasure trove, which I know about. Ha ha! Yes, it's true. Wait, what? Did she say treasure? Uh, yeah. Well, I said I knew where the treasure is. And why are you looking at me like that? So Mikey and I can help get it and share the treasure for everyone. That's cool. I don't mind that at all. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Let's hurry up and finish everything and run for the treasure. I'm already full, so I'm ready to go. I generally am too, so let's not waste any time. So what's our plan of action now? We'll just head into the woods and search for treasure. No other plans. Let's not waste any time and head there soon. Yeah, sure. We'll go now. How lucky we are to have met her, JJ. We'll be rich soon. Yeah, Mikey. I've always said this kind of dating is no accident. But we're still very much in luck. Hey, boys. What are you standing there for? Let's go. Yes, of course. We're only wasting time. We need to get it done quickly and be with the jewelry. Let's hurry up and get going. It's starting to get a little dark. That's true. How how long do we have to walk? We'll take my car. Why walk? Wow, is that really your car? It's really expensive. I didn't think it was yours. Why didn't you tell us about your cool car before? There just wasn't time to tell it. I've never ridden in a car like this. Very interesting to experience it. Me neither, JJ. I've never even seen it in my life. Let's just get in and I'll take you for a ride on this beast. Yes, of course. We have no right to refuse. We've eaten at the restaurant and now we're going to drive the cool car to get the treasure. Yes, Mikey. It's a fabulous day today. Then let's not waste any time and get in the car. Yeah, Mikey, sure. Sit down. I'll go right after you. I hope everything goes great. So, where is this treasure located anyway? Is it in the woods or somewhere nearby? I'll bring you over and show you around. A little patience is required. Okay, we're here. Now what do we do? Let's all get out of the car and look at all the beauty around us. It's true. It's all beautiful. But where exactly is the treasure? I hope it's not underwater. We'll figure it out. Wait! The treasure is somewhere underwater. I can't tell you the exact spot, but it's too late and we'll have to make camp. Then why did we come here? We could have spent the night at home. Because I'll need to do a little searching today so the three of us 
can get the treasure tomorrow. Okay, well that sounds logical then. Come on, already make yourself a little overnight accommodation from everything you see around you. You tell me first, where exactly are you going to look for the treasure? Do you need our help? I'll search underwater, I don't need your help. All right, I think you know more about this than we do, so it's time to get down to business. That's right, don't waste time because it will be hard to do everything in the dark. And then where are you going to sleep? I'm not sure I'm going to sleep at all yet, so don't worry. Okay, Mikey, I think she knows better about the treasure than we do, so we're gonna do what she says. Then let's get started. Let's go. Three hours later. Phew, it's getting pretty dark, but we're done with building our little camp. Yeah, JJ, I finished what I wanted to do too. You and I did a great job. I really like the way it looks now. We made a bonfire in tents too. Everything's great. Yes, JJ, and it won't be scary to sleep because it won't be as dark. What's up, guys? Wow, you did a beautiful job. I didn't think you could make a real camp. Well, yes, we tried to make everyone comfortable and cozy here. We'll be able to get a good night's sleep for tomorrow's quest. Yes, it's true, but you don't have to go straight to bed, there are plenty of places to go. We can even play. It's so beautiful here now. You can sit and admire the sunset. I love what you've done. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much, Mikey and I are happy for your emotions. I'm very glad I am in the woods with men like you. We're glad to have such a pretty and gorgeous girl with us too. Now it's time to go to bed, guys. Why don't you come lie down on the bed with me then? No, guys, I'm gonna go check out the ground some more and then go to bed in the car. Why do you need to get in the car? It's not as comfortable as with us. Thank you very much. But no need. Rest yourself. She's a little weird. She tells us to go to sleep and then she goes off somewhere. Never mind, JJ. The important thing is that we'll be rich tomorrow. Okay, I agree with you on that one. Then we should go to bed and rest. I really hope everything works out tomorrow and we didn't just build a campground here. Now we have to go to bed. What? What's that sound? I don't understand. What's going on here? It's like some kind of singing, but it doesn't appease me. It freaks me out. And I don't understand where that sound is coming from at all. I gotta wake Mikey up. I don't want to stand here alone. But he sleeps so soundly without hearing that singing at all. Get up already, Mikey. Oh my god, what happened? Do you hear that scary singing all around you? Yeah, JJ, and what's that? I don't know myself, Mikey, but I really don't like it. We gotta figure out what it is. First, you have to figure out exactly where the sound is coming from. But it's really hard. It sounds like it's everywhere. Maybe that way? No, definitely not. I think it's coming from somewhere deep in the woods. Yeah, JJ, you're probably right. I see a path toward the woods. We should go there. That's a good idea. But let's go together because I'm a little scared about the whole situation. I don't mind, Mikey. I don't want to be alone out here. We seem to be on the right track. The song is getting closer and closer. Mikey, that song sounds like it's coming from this cave. I don't really feel like going down there. We need to find out exactly Exactly what it is. We won't be able to sleep anyway. God, why do I even have to go to this? All right, let's go already. That's better. Don't worry, I'm really scared to do it too. It's so dark and scary here. I hope no one attacks us. Don't worry, I don't think it's dangerous. Wow, look, there's a little lake. Apparently someone sings here. And how do we find out? Do we dive in there and see exactly who's singing? I don't think that's a good idea. Are you guys here yet? I'm glad you're awake. Come down here and I'll show you where the treasure is. Wow, finally, we're coming down. Why didn't you just call us here in the first place. Less questions, guys. We have to hurry to collect the treasure, so be quick. It's just that I searched for all this and found it. No mystery here. Put on what you need and come down to my place. Okay, we get it. Give us literally just a minute. It's deep enough in there, JJ. Doesn't it scare you? If only a little, but there's a treasure there and I really want to get it so I can be rich. Yes, JJ, you're right. One must be able to overcome one's fears for wealth. So here you go. Put this on. It will help you breathe underwater and talk. All right, Mikey. Good for you for bringing this. I knew this could happen. So put it on, get ready, and jump in the water. All right, Mikey, I'll jump right in after you. That's it, he jumped, he seems to be okay. So I'm jumping after him. Wow, JJ, it's really beautiful here. I've never experienced anything like it. That's true, but where did that mermaid go? We don't have much air. Don't worry, JJ, that's enough for a long time. So we can take our time and search in peace. Okay, but either way, I'm uncomfortable and better make it quick. To make sure we don't get lost, I suggest we wait here. She'll definitely come back for us. Hey, are you guys in the water yet? What are you standing there for? We just didn't know where to go and we're afraid of getting lost. Where'd you get the fin from? Are you an unusual girl? Yeah, it's a little weird. 
weird, to be honest. What are you, a mermaid? Yes, I'm a mermaid. There's no treasure. I lured you here for my piranhas to eat. Uh, what? If it's a joke, it's pretty funny. I like it. It's true. It looks like it's true. Wait, look, she's calling someone over here. That's because I wasn't kidding. Be prepared to die. Oh, no, Mikey. It's really piranhas that want to eat us. What are we supposed to do now? I don't know. We were just tricked and dragged into the water. And all those piranhas are looking at us with very menacing eyes. We need to figure something out soon while they're standing still. I agree. No more standing around. Everybody attack piranhas. JJ, swim faster. They're right behind you. Oh my god, one of them almost bit me. We have to swim and figure something out. I don't even know what to suggest. The two of us can't handle these fish. It's true. And we can't swim for long either. Then all we have to do is find some kind of weapon. I don't even know what we need to find in the water to fight them all off. Yes, you're right. There are a lot of them. Only very powerful weapons can help us. JJ, I'm afraid to say this. But I think we're hitting a dead end. No, Mikey, there's still distance to sail. Don't scare me. Yes, you're right. But now you swim a little bit and it won't happen anymore. Oh my god, you were right. What are we supposed to do now? JJ, look over here. There's a trunk over here. Maybe it's got something useful in it. Yeah, Mikey, you were right. There's a shotgun in here. It's gonna save us. What is your last word before you die? You better look at this. You're the only ones who are going to die today. Oh no, where'd you find the shotgun? Shoot, JJ, get rid of those piranhas. I'm already doing it, Mikey. There's nothing they can do about it. That's it. No piranha now. What are you going to do with us, mermaid? Maybe you want to get rid of her with a shotgun, Mikey? Please don't do this. No, JJ, you do it. You were good at it. Agreed. Then I'm shooting now. Please don't. I give up. Do whatever you want, but don't kill me. Then I know what we can do with her, Mikey. I'm sure I was thinking what you were thinking. So what did you guys come up with to do? Moments later. That was a great idea, JJ. I didn't think you were that smart. Of course, Mikey. Making a great mermaid dinner over a campfire is a great idea. It still stands so appetizingly still, I already can't wait for it to cook. Especially since I'm really hungry. We haven't had a proper meal since the restaurant. I'm shocked that mermaids really exist. I thought it was last century. At least we'll know what they taste like. Six months later. It's a new day, and Mikey and I are sitting around watching cartoons while no one touches us. Yeah, that's right, especially since we love that cartoon. SpongeBob and Patrick remind me of you and me, just as funny and hilarious. That's true, but which one of us is Patrick? Obviously you, Mikey. Okay, well, I guess you're not lying. Why should I lie to you? Wait, there's mom in the back. Kids, hi. Take a break from cartoons, and I'll give you a little assignment. Um, okay, no problem. I hope this really is a small assignment and we have time to watch cartoons. Don't worry, you just have have to go to the store and buy groceries. Yes, of course. We'll make it very easy. And what do we need to buy there? Take some fruit, milk, cheese, and what you yourself would like to eat. Great. We'll get some more goodies. I like going to the stores. Great. Now daddy's going to give you money. Have you two already agreed on everything together? Yes. They're already waiting for the money. Huh? I must have been a little late looking in the fridge. Hurry up so we don't waste too much time. Here you go, a few diamonds. I'm giving you more on purpose so you're sure to have enough. Great. Thank you so much. We'll be able to buy lots of yummy stuff. All right, kids. Run along quickly while my Mommy and I clean the house. It's important, so I hope you'll clean our room, too. That would be great. We'll clean up. Just make it quick and buy what you need. What a great way this has worked out. We just have to go for a walk and we get cleaned up, too. Yes, JJ, it's true. We should get out of the house before anyone changes their mind. It's true, Mikey. We're like two little rats jumping ship. Follow me. I'll take you the shortcut to the store. Are you sure about this? Why don't we go the normal way? It's gonna be okay. Let's go. We're going the usual way to the store, aren't we? No, look. There's no passage in front. There's a cliff. We need to go my way and cut the path in half. Since there's a cliff in the front, will there be no cliff further down? It'll be fine. You'll see for yourself. Come here quickly. Where to, Mikey? This path here will get us to the store much faster. I'm so confused by your ideas sometimes, Mikey. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I really hope so, because the walk back is already too long. That's true, which is why you have absolutely no choice, JJ. But I don't like the fact that it's kind of hollow. It's fine. I've been here a bunch of times. I don't really believe that. Oh, I don't remember this being here. Jesus, Mikey, what the hell is this? You're suggesting we go over a precipice like this? Come on, look. It's only a short walk. It's just a matter of being careful. No, Mikey, it's very dangerous and unwise. It'll be fine. Look, just go straight and that's it. All right, Mikey, just take your time. Oh my God, why is it wobbling like that? Calm down, JJ, it's okay. No, not at all, Mikey. Uh, oh my God, no. What am I supposed to do now? I'm going to fall. No! Oh my god, did I survive a fall like that? I don't understand. I don't even have any pain. 
If I'm standing here and I can see everything, then I'm a definite survivor. But what happened to Mikey? Oh god, no, here I am lying down. Am I really dead? Oh, what happened? Why are you translucent? You're the same, Mikey. Apparently, you and I died and became ghosts. God, why did it have to happen like this? I want to get back into my body. Apparently, that's no longer possible, Mikey. There's no going back. That's terrible. I'm so sorry I brought you here. What are we supposed to do with you now? Wait, JJ, I'm starting to see something. Um, what? What do you see? That's some very bright white light at the end of the tunnel. So what? What's going on with you? It's completely consuming me, JJ. Everything is white. You disappear, Mikey. Where are you going? Oh no, where'd he go? What am I supposed to do here alone? Will he even come back here or not? Whoa, I'm getting swallowed up in this white light too. Jesus, where am I now? I don't understand. Mikey, it's so good to see you. Are you just standing there in the whiteness too? Yes, JJ, this is very unusual. Where have we gotten to? Why isn't anyone here? Why were we sent here in the first place. Are they going to do something to us? I have no idea, JJ. Let's just stand around and wait for something. Why don't you just look over here? What? Oh, wow. Who are you? I'm the angel who's been watching you. That pretty girl was watching us. Why haven't we seen her before? That's true, but we didn't see her because we were alive. You say all the right things, but I have a single question for you. How could you die so stupidly? It's all thanks to my brother Mikey. He was the one who suggested going through there. Jesus, okay. Now we'll talk to you about your future path. You will have three choices as to how you can go on with your life. All right, we're listening carefully. Your first choice will be for those who want to live a life of drive, constantly getting into bad situations, etc. So what is this place? Is that where you live? I don't live there because I'm talking about hell. Uh, seriously? I don't really want to go in there. I totally agree. I don't need to go there either. Then the next one is where I live, which is heaven. It's peaceful and ordinary there. Everyone lives in peace and quiet. Okay, we get it. What's the third option? The third is to just go back to the world you've been living in all along. Okay, so what are you and I gonna pick? We need to talk about this. Yes, I agree. The choice is hard enough. Um, you're weird, all right? Go choose. I don't see what's so weird about it. You can't make hasty decisions. Come here, JJ. Clearly, we're choosing between heaven and going home. Yes, it is, Mikey. But if we go back, we won't see this beauty again. It's true. Very sorry to lose this hot angel. Then we need to stay in heaven to see her every day. Yes, Mikey, I agree. I don't want to lose angel. We have made our choice. We are fully confident. And what did you choose? We want to live together in heaven. Well, that's your right, and you can't change your choice. No big deal. So Mikey and I stepped back and discussed our choices. Let's see what's out there. Yes, no problem. Now I'll take you there and show you where you'll live. Awesome. I really hope the three of us will be neighbors. Otherwise, it's going to be very frustrating. I won't tell you anything yet. It'll be a surprise. I hope this surprise is as good as the angel. Now I'll open the door, and we'll all go inside together. Jesus, but there's nothing here. Where do we go? It's a magical place. Just go straight ahead. Why don't I follow you? Go already, JJ. Stop arguing and giving questions. Okay, I'm coming. Wow, how did it all come out like this? It's very beautiful and bright in here. I understand we are in the sky, but where did Mikey and Angel go? We're here, JJ. Don't worry. This is where you will be all the time now. It's very beautiful here, though. Show us where we'll live with Mikey and where you live. It's very interesting, actually. Do we end up being neighbors all together? Right. You said the surprise would be right here. If you look on all sides, you would have realized it yourself long ago. Because the green house is home for Mikey and the red house is home for JJ. Wow, that's great. We live right next door. Let's go into one house and I'll show you how it's done. Your houses are the same except for the color. Yeah, sure. I'll finish watching it now and I'm on my way. It's a good thing we ended up here and not back home. You're so slow, though. Let's get this done quickly and get on with our business. No problem. We have nowhere else to rush anyway. That's how beautiful and modest your cottage is. There's no point in making something too big. This whole thing will be enough for you. It's a little small, of course, but the house is really cozy. This will be enough for you. You can build on it from here. I like everything about it. This is where your restroom is located, or you wouldn't have found it for sure. It's true. It's very much tucked away for a house like this. Now that we're clear, we can go home and get some rest. No, wait. There's something else we want to know first. Where do you live, Angel? Let me show you. This will be your surprise. Great. Finally, this is very important to us. We chose to live in paradise for a reason. Look, guys, I live right next door to you, so we'll see each other a lot. Your place is prettier than ours. It makes sense because I'm an angel and I've lived here for so many years. Now I'm gonna go rest. You two guys have fun. Yes, such a beauty living for many years in a house like that. I wish I could live there with her. It's true. I dream of it too. Stop standing outside my 
house and go to your houses. Yeah, sure, we'll talk and then we'll go. Gosh, Mikey, I have such a rush of emotions over this angel. I want to watch more of her. Well, I guess she won't be out of the house anytime soon, so we'll just have to wait. Yes, it's true. Oh, wait, we could peek through the windows. That's right, Mikey, that's genius. Just don't let her see it. Don't worry, I don't think she'll even look in our direction. Too bad we can't go in. The doors are too big and loud. She'd definitely notice. I think we have enough to watch her through the window. Then let's do it already. Wow, look, there she goes doing her thing. And how glad I am that this one has her gorgeous figure turned toward us. It's true, it's her best body part. I'd give any money to see it up close every day. But for now, we only have the opportunity to watch it through a window, which is fine too. Oh no, she's gonna see us now. She's already done it, what do we do now? As long as we can't hear each other, we have to come up with some excuse. What are you kids doing here? Why are you watching me? We just wanted to see what you were doing. I'm actually getting ready for bed now because it's well past midnight. Are you kidding me? Actually, the sun is high and shining brightly right now. It will always be light here, but it's actually nighttime and you should go to bed. All right, we get it, then we'll go now. Come on, kids, and no more watching me, please, or it makes me uncomfortable. We can't promise anything, but we'll try our best. She's so sweetly angry. They don't call her angel for nothing. It's true. Too bad we won't be able to watch her again today. Let's go get some sleep so we can wake up early tomorrow and get to her. I don't know about tomorrow, but I'm really starting to get sleepy. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll talk about whatever we want. Okay, Mikey. I agree with you. See you tomorrow. That's it. Mikey's gone to his house. Now it's time for me to go to mine. It's really cool that we chose to live in paradise. I love it here. Okay, I need to go to bed soon so that tomorrow comes sooner. Hopefully tomorrow our angel will be here with us and we can chat. In the meantime, I'll be dreaming. The next day. Who? it's morning. I slept so well. This place sleeps so much better than home. It's like the air is completely different. And the bed is so comfortable. I wonder what our beautiful angel is doing in there. We should go and see her. She must still be asleep. I don't see See her walking around the house, so there's not a second to lose. We have to do it while she's asleep. I should also get Mikey to come with me. I think he'd be very excited. I hope he's awake by now, and if not, I'll still have time. Hey, Mikey, come on out. Let's go to the angel house. Hey, Mikey, open the door. I wonder if he's still asleep. Okay, I'll have to go in and wake him up then. Hey, Mikey, where are you? Where'd you hide? Oh, you must be busy right now. Wait a bit, I'll be right out. Uh, well, I'll wait for you outside then. Wait, I'm coming out now. Hi, JJ. Sorry I had to wait. The food here must be really hard on my stomach. Haha, <laughs> got it. Now you're okay? Yeah, what was your offer? I was going to suggest you go see our angel. See what she's doing. I think it's time for me and her to take our communication to the next level. Interesting, interesting. I like your suggestion, and I will fully support it. Hey, wait for me. Where are you going so fast? Well, if I get there first, I'll have more time to be with her. Wait, first we have to look out the window to see what she's doing. We can't scare her, or she'll stop talking to us. She's sleeping JJ. Look how cute and pretty she is. You're right, she's great. There's no one more beautiful than her in this world. Let's go over there while he's sleeping. You think that would be a good idea? Well, we'll go in quietly, have a look, and then leave. We won't wake her up. Well, all right, just be quiet enough not to wake her up. You just look at her. She's as beautiful as can be. You're right, she's just the best thing in the world. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I just can't take my eyes off her. She's so sweet. I want to sleep with her, so I'm gonna go lie down with her. Hey, Mikey, don't get cocky. Actually, I'm gonna sleep with her and you go back to your toilet. Actually, I came up with it first. But I'm prettier and better than you, so go away. No, you go, I'll stay here. I think we're busted, JJ. And what are you doing here? What are you even doing in my house? What are we going to do about this mess? We came to wish you a good morning, and then we had a little fight. We'll clean up after ourselves. Yes, we'll clean up after ourselves. No way. You've already pissed me off. I'll never forgive you again. What are you talking about? What are you up to? I'll never see you again, Ahalai Mahalai. What did you do? Did you kill Mikey? No, but you're in for the same thing as him. No, I don't want to die. Spare me. Ahalai Mahalai. Ah! What happened? Where am I? What, did it bring us back? How is that possible? I thought there was no going back. JJ, you're here too? I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Mikey, you're okay. What happened? What happened is here to stay. Don't you dare come back to me. I don't want to see you anymore. Take us back. Yeah, take us back, please. We don't want to stay here. We want to live with you. I don't even want to hear it. 
I'll give you a bag of groceries and you can go on living as you please. But we don't want to stay here. We want to come back to you. Don't leave us alone, please. We want to be with you. We love you. We'll be on our best behavior and we won't bother you again. La 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 la, I can't hear anything. Bye, losers. What are we supposed to do now? Now we're all alone, and we won't see our beautiful angel again. I will miss her, even though she didn't treat us very well. I fell in love with her very much. What are we gonna do without her? I think we can handle it. Let's go home now and watch cartoons. I really like that idea. Let's do it then. Let's go! The next evening... We are sitting in our seat, and we are very bored. I'm really looking forward to when this lesson is over. It's true. The teacher is very boring. I'm going to fall asleep. And now we'll be repeating the new theme again. God, she keeps telling things that aren't interesting at all. Yes, it's true. She's about to abruptly turn around and write something. I know what we're going to do. I'm going to throw eggs at her. Wow, isn't that dangerous for us? No, of course. She won't even realize who threw it. Oh, wow, that's a good throw. That's it. Stay quiet. I don't get it. Who just threw? that? Have you lost your fear? Ha ha ha! I told you she wouldn't understand. That's very funny, JJ. Shh, she's coming. Did one of you throw eggs at me? Be honest. No, of course not. How could we have eggs? All right, I agree. Why do you need eggs in school? Ha ha ha! See, I told you she'd never guess. Keep throwing more, JJ. I really enjoyed this one. I'm going to take aim and throw it all. Someone's throwing again? Yeah, JJ. You're the one who's been throwing all along. No, it's not us. It's just the lighting. Trying to be the smartest? Let's see how you write the test tomorrow. Tomorrow, geniuses. Geez, what's the test tomorrow? A test on the topic I was explaining today. Well, you'll see tomorrow we'll have a great write-up. I doubt that very much, JJ. And you don't do it. Oh my god, the bell has finally rung. Okay, guys, good job, everyone. See you tomorrow. All right, thank you. And you, JJ and Mikey, hope you write well or I'll notify your parents about it. Okay, we get it. God, is she really gonna give us a test tomorrow because of this? I think she's definitely not kidding, but I'm sure we'll write it easily. I agree. There's no point in worrying. Let's go home. Although maybe we'd better prepare a bit so we don't fall flat on our faces. I don't know, Mikey. We gotta think about it. But first, show the audience this. That's right. Don't forget to do it because thanks to your support, and we will continue to bring you fun videos. Let's go home, JJ. Our viewers keep us happy enough as it is. But the question remains the same. How do we write this test tomorrow? Why don't we go home and get ready? No, we'll just do a little reading and we can easily write it tomorrow. Why waste our lives preparing? We can just do some reading. You finally know what I'm talking about talking about. The main thing is not to worry, and everything will be okay. Golden words, JJ. Well done. Thanks, Mikey. I know. We're almost home, JJ. Now we can rest. Wait, what about our reading we agreed on? We've been walking so long, I'm tired. I don't want to read anything. Whatever. Overall, I agree with you. Look, there are parents standing there. Let's not tell them about the test. All right, Mikey. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hello. Hey, Mikey and JJ. How are you guys doing? What's new at school? Nothing interesting was even happening. We just sat quietly listening to the top and went home right after the bell rang. Yes, it's true. It's been a normal day today. Well done, guys. Then you can go rest. Mind your own business. Just don't stay up too late. Okay, thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Well done, JJ. They didn't realize we had a test tomorrow. Yes, Mikey. They just went about their business. That's great. Then we won't distract them anymore. We're allowed to do our own thing. Then let's hurry up and play comp. Let's not think about this test anymore. I totally agree. If we rest well today, we will definitely write well tomorrow. Sit down and turn it on. We'll see exactly exactly what we'll be playing. And we don't really have much of a selection. I've just recently updated everything here. That's okay, JJ. I don't even mind just playing Tetris. Yes, it's true. We just need to talk less and play more because we have a whole free day. The next day. God, how could there not be a single correct answer? Anyway, this test doesn't affect anything, so I won't even bother. We had a lot of fun last night, though, so I'm not upset. Oh, JJ, you in here. You don't have one right answer either. Yeah, Mikey, but I'm not even upset about it. And I don't have the right answers either. I hope the teacher is happy about that. Yeah, Mikey. That was really funny how that turned out. We have identical jobs, you and me. It's obvious we're brothers. Now we also won't tell our parents about it, and we'll go back to doing our own thing. Right, that's great. And the teacher thought she was punishing us. In the end, everyone was happy afterwards. Be sure to remind our viewers of the important things, because we really do make great content. Yes, that's true. But enough of that. Let's go home already. I agree. We'll play computer again. Look, Mikey, here comes the teacher. There they are, standing there happy. You big losers. 
Although they said they'd write well. Well, it didn't work. Well, don't worry. I'll call the parents at school and show them your work so they can help you finally start learning. Even after these grades, you're still walking around happy. We will learn honestly. You don't have to do this. I've heard this before, but you still continue to do anything except study. Oh my God, this is really bad. They're going to swear at us. I know this will be helpful to you. Ha 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 ha. She doesn't even realize we can just get rid of that test. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Did you think we'd be so scared of this that we'd beg for mercy? We're just gonna burn it, that's all. Hurry up and do it, JJ, before the teacher takes the tests by force. Look at this, hop, and there's no more ease. Jesus, what the hell are you guys doing? There could be a fire. It's okay, we're in control. The important thing is that there's no more test. And now there's no point in calling our parents. And no one will scold us, we're just smart, that's all. Yeah, guys, nice try. But unfortunately, I have a computer where all the test grades are stored. And we didn't even know it. Now I'm going upstairs to my office. And tomorrow, your parents will come and see everything, and there's no way you can escape. Jesus, she's right, Mikey. There's nothing we can do about it. Keep smiling and having fun. Now I'm having fun, too. Please forgive us, but don't call our parents here. That's enough, Mikey. Let her go in his office. She won't listen to us anyway. What are we supposed to do now? Parents are going to be very angry. I don't know, Mikey. We gotta sneak into her office and delete those grades. That's right, JJ. I should have thought of that before. Stay here. I'll run and get something, and we'll go to the teacher's office. Office. Geez, I hope it's something non-threatening you want to bring. No, of course. Wait for me here. It'll be fine. You don't have to worry. I don't want to stay here alone. Let's go together. Three hours later. And you really think this plan is going to help us? Yes, JJ. I'm sure I'll do what I need to do. All you have to do is delete. It's a little exciting to do that. If we get spotted, we're definitely screwed. So you have to try really hard. Don't worry, JJ. We'll do everything according to plan. I lure her in with flowers and get her out of the office, and you get on the computer and delete the test. She won't suspect a thing, and she'll go quietly with me. OK, well, that should really work, I guess. There's still no other plan. All right, JJ. If she calls the parents, we're screwed. So let's do it. It's true. There's nothing to lose. Good luck to us. Stand back. I'm going in. She's sitting there right by the computer doing her thing, and I'm hiding. Come on, JJ, as long as you're out of sight. Teacher, hello. I'm here to talk to you about this whole situation. Uh, okay, Mikey, come on in. What do you want to talk about? Honestly, it's nothing serious. I just wanted to tell you something. Okay, Don't that's it. Mikey averted her gaze. Now I have to carefully sneak under the table so I, really I can't be seen. All right, flowers. I'm in position. You really are a very cute and beautiful girl. Wow, that's kind of unexpected coming from you, Mikey. I realize how it looks, but you have been fighting so much today and it really hurt me to hear it. But it's your own fault. You and JJ are really bad at school. I just can't learn when I know my love is a teacher who doesn't even know how I feel. Why don't we just take a walk together and talk it over? I don't know, Mikey. Isn't that weird? No, it's not weird. Because I like you and I just want your attention. Okay, Mikey. You're very sweet and kind, too. Let's go for a little walk. Thank you very much. I'm very happy that you agreed. Just for a little while. We'll just go out together. Oh no my problem. god! Mikey Especially is so good, he really did it! The main time. thing is that See the teacher well that doesn't out. notice me There's now, and I everything will go today. well. It was very unexpected for me, but very satisfying. I'll close the door and we'll go. Okay, great, they're gone. Mikey did a great job, he did it right. Now I'm going to wait until they're out of sight and go do stuff. All right, great, time to go out. Gotta quickly delete this test from the computer while Mikey is distracted. How cool is it that I'm in the main office of the school all alone and can do whatever I want? It's an unforgettable experience. Okay, well now I need to find the computer that has all the test data on it. I hope it's here and the teacher didn't take it with her, but I don't see it yet. That's right, how stupid of me. There's this laptop on the biggest table. Now I need to find and figure out exactly where all these results are, but I have time. The important thing is to take my time. I'll check all folders and all possible tabs where this stuff might be. God, she's got so many things going on. I'm getting a little confused. Nah, it's okay. I think I'm on the right way. Right oh no, is that the teacher's voice? Why are they back here so early? I'm still hoping I'm imagining it. Don't worry, Mikey. I'll be back. I just forgot my keys. Oh no, I think I'm gonna die now. What are you so afraid of? I'll be quick. Uh, JJ, what are you doing here? I'm just sitting here waiting for you. But for what? He just had a crush on you too, and I didn't tell him we were going out. I don't understand. Are you kidding me right now? No, absolutely not. I got it. Mikey dragged me out of my office on purpose so you'd erase my test scores. No, why would you think that? We're really just secretly in love with you. Really? I'm gonna beat you up for this. No, oh, no. don't! <laughs> 
moments later. Now you're not going anywhere. You're going to sit and wait for your parents. That's too bad, and the plan worked almost perfectly. I'll tell your parents everything. I hope you'll be very ashamed of it. We can only hope that the parents just don't show up and that's it. I think it's very unlikely, especially after a teacher's call. You don't even have to believe in miracles. That's the last thing we have to do. You better just get over it. Hey, hello, can we come in? We're Mikey and JJ's parents. Oh no, they're already here. Yes, of course. Hurry up and get in here and sit down. Hello again. Is something wrong? Why did you call us? Did our children do something wrong? Come and sit at the table. I'll tell you all about it. Well, well. I hope you want to praise them because we don't even know anything. I think I'd rather have a teacher tell you everything than Mikey and I. Somebody tell me what's going on here because I'm getting worried and angry. Your kids have been doing very poorly in school for a long time and wrote a test today for a bad grade, then burned this and tried to delete it from the computer by cheating on me. What? what? Have you lost your nerve? Why didn't you say anything the whole time? We apologize for their behavior. We'll be sure to have a chat at home. No more computers for you for a month. You're you just went and cheated on your parents. I'm going to take a belt and give you a good whipping. Looks like we're going to have a very bad life now, JJ.